Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is just me chit chatting with you guys and basically giving you all an update on my pregnancy. So we have definitely started a new countdown. 122 days until Molly. If you haven't seen my gender reveal video please go check that out i will tr try to remember to link it below in the description box but we know the gender of our baby and we are actually having a baby girl so god answered our wishes we really wanted to we really wanted a baby girl so we are gonna have a baby girl and she's gonna be here in march 2020 so we're super excited majesty don't quite understand that he's having a sister yet but he knows that mommy is carrying a baby inside of her belly it's super cute when he says baby and like rub his belly and rub my belly <laughs> it's just cute and funny but anyways so here's the scoop basically i i have 122 days left in this pregnancy it is zooming by really really fast so I can't remember the last time I gave you guys an update on my pregnancy where I left off at, but basically everything is still going smoothly. Um, I did have a hiccup on the day of my gender reveal. Later on that day, for some reason, I caught a little stomach bug and I had it for 24 hours. So that night, I, um, well, that morning I had like a headache and my headaches are very extreme during this pregnancy it's more like a migraine and so I was feeling like my head was hurting and so before we went to my um anatomy scan I took a warm shower to try to ease up the, the migraine warm showers usually tend to help me since I am on a natural route as far as when I have headaches and I have like a cold or something I do not take medicine I stay hydrated I pray about it I rest and so later on that day when we got back home from the anatomy scan something like really really came over my body and um I actually threw up that night and uh I thought I was feeling much better. I had some crackers, I drank some water, and I went to bed. In the middle of the night, I woke up like two or three times in the middle of the night, throwing up again. Nothing would stay down. Not water, not crackers, not anything. And so there was one point where I just stopped drinking and I stopped eating because I'm just like, I'm sick of it. And I just wasn't in the mood. My stomach was hurting um, really badly. And so every time I would throw up, it would just be some sort of liquid, like my body would just push something up. And so it got really bad as I went into the next morning and um, I actually threw up again that morning. So my husband and I made the decision to just go ahead and take me to... Um, the women's and children's hospital that where I will be delivering the baby and we went to the triage the triage's office there and they gave me an IV more fluids um, because I became dehydrated and they also gave me something for the nausea as soon as they gave me something for the nausea I felt so much better um, I was still very low on energy because I was throwing up so much and uh, so just after we left there, we spent a couple hours there, came back home, and I basically just rest. What nausea medicine that they gave me um, um, eased the nausea pain and the stomach pains. And so then I just got really, really sleepy and exhausted because I had been staying up all night, just like throwing up. And so basically I just took that day to sleep and rest. The next day I woke up 
and I was still low, very low on energy from all of um, the fluids and food and everything that I lost. So I just really took it easy, but I still had the energy um, to get up and wash like my sheets and covers. I still wanted to move around and just like get my body moving and not just lay around because the more I lay around, the more sick I feel. And so I got up, washed my bed sheets and pillowcases and blankets and stuff like that because everything was just a big mess <laughs> after um, that stomach bug. And so, yeah, it was rough. And then the nurse that took care of me in the triage's office, she was very nice. Like her personality was super nice, but that girl cannot draw blood. I have, I've had this bruise now going on a week because homegirl popped the blood vein or vessel, whatever you call it, when she poked me and it didn't feel right when she put the needle in my arm. But I was so sick that I didn't even like think to say anything to her. And then me and needles don't do good. So I usually tend to close my eyes when I'm getting poked with a needle because if I watch it, I may pass out. Now I may, I will pass out because I have passed out numerous times when I've watched a doctor take blood. So I turn my head every time I get blood, but um, I felt the needle going inside. And usually when I get blood and when the guy does take my blood, I never feel the needle. I mean, of course I feel like the tiniest pinch, but it's just like, it just feel like I don't, it doesn't hurt when he does it. But this time it hurt when she put the needle in my arm and um, it felt really thick and it felt like she did do something wrong. And so when she put the needle in my arm, she put the IV in my arm or whatever, my arm was super sore. And that was weird because when I was pregnant with Majesty and um, it was time for me to give birth, when the IV was in my arm, it wasn't sore. So the entire time I'm laying there on the bed and my arm is sore. And then when I once I get home, my arm is so sore that I can barely even bend it or sleep on my um, my left side. And it's still a little sore, to be honest with you, if I press on that area. But when I, the next day after we left the hospital, I had like a lump on my arm, like a bruise, um, like a really big lump and it was really sore. But now it's flat and it's just like I have a huge birthmark on my arm so i've never had this happen to me so i don't know if it's gonna go away or not i mean right now it just looks purple it did look like a bluish purple or whatever so but yeah uh like i said she was very nice but her ass is never sticking me again i remember her face so when it's time for me to uh, deliver Marley, I need her ass to be in the triage office. Don't be in my room because I will, you gotta go. I need another nurse. But anyways, other than that, let's see, what else has been going on, child? I have noticed that with Marley, and even my sisters told me this, and like some of my in-laws told me when they were pregnant with their daughters, they were super sick like all the time and i feel like i don't know what it is about little girls but i feel that way with marley like this pregnancy it's been smooth for the most part but at the same time when i have a headache it's not a normal headache it's a migraine and it it just ruins my mood and my day like when i have a headache when i start to have a migraine i just feel all around horrible and sick and I just have to lay down and like close my eyes and then most of the time I start to get nauseous and so I've noticed that like throughout this pregnancy like e my first trimester was even like 10 times more harsh than it was with majesty and um and even though I'm able to do things now and I feel well 
um, I do have like really bad days and it's just be random days where I just feel like, ugh, like I can't do anything. And it was just so much more smooth with Majesty and just really different with Majesty. And um, after my first trimester with Majesty, I didn't really have a lot of sick days. I can count on one hand how many times I just felt like not myself when I was pregnant with Majesty. But with Marley, a lot of things are going on. <laughs> and yeah, just it's rough out here, child. But um, for the most part, I'm enjoying this pregnancy. Like I said, it's going by so fast. I don't know if it's because of my second baby or because I'm like keeping you guys updated. I didn't do this with majesty. I just live day by day. And then like with this pregnancy, I'm doing countdowns and updates and posting a lot about it and stuff like that. So I don't know if that is making this pregnancy go by really fast, but yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it so far, and uh, I'm excited to see how she's going to look and hold her in March, but I'm not rushing this pregnancy. I want her to bake. I want to have a full-term pregnancy with these doctors telling me one minute I'm 20 weeks, the next minute I'm 21 weeks after the anatomy scan, so I, I just want a full-term pregnancy. I just want to be at least 40 weeks 41 weeks pregnant before i give birth and then on top of that that at the anatomy scan um we seen marley's heartbeat and we heard her heartbeat and everything was very smooth and went very well but the doctor that did my anatomy scan didn't take good pictures of her heart not good enough for my doctors at my OB office. And so now I have to do another ultrasound anatomy scan for um, the doctors at my OB office, um, which they, there's, I'm waiting for a phone call for them to schedule that because they want more pictures of Marley's heart. They need better pictures of it. And um, so nothing's wrong or anything. They just need to see her heart better in pictures and um yeah also my ob monthly appointment got pushed to this wednesday because um because of the my 24-hour incident like the in, with the stomach bug incident they wanted me to see the ob um um a much, at a much earlier time just to make sure everything was um just to make sure I'm good and stuff like that. They, my foods are good, all that, you know. I wanna place this crown up on your head, woman. Girl, you're my queen. So, that is about it. You are my the jungle you are the lioness and i feel like i grumble but they're always trying your best so when the whole world crumble